Bees have a vital role in Canada's canola industry. Honey bee pollination encourages higher yields and promotes more uniform ripening. And we all know that pollinators found in canola fields are essential for a healthy environment. That's why canola growers and beekeepers are talking about bee health and using management practices that help both industries thrive. Well, I think it's important to help the beekeepers out. Uh, canola is uh, great, for, great for the bees and uh, it's also a benefit to to the canola crop to have the bees around to, to pollinate it. So, so it kind of works uh, both ways. It helps both parties out, so. The most important thing we do is you, you spend lots of time scouting. Uh, you're in the field lots looking for insects, um, looking for, for pests. And then we really are really, really conservative on, on spraying. We, we tend to not spray insecticides all that much. So, uh, you know, it starts right there with your scouting and, and, and your, you know, your economic thresholds and stuff. And, uh, and if you do have to go in, like on the odd time, we do have to go in and say spray lagus when, when uh, canola is still flowering. You, we try to give the beekeeper quite a bit of notice, uh, at least 24 hours. Um, I'm always conscious that uh, um, there may be damage to some of the, the beneficial insects out, out there as well. And I always take that and to uh, consideration when we're, we're trying to make that decision of, of whether or not we're gonna spray. If we do uh, deem that it's necessary to spray, then our, our first phone call would be into Terry to give him as, as much warning as possible that we, we realize that we might have to spray in case uh, Terry feels that, that he'd wanna move these, these hives to protect them. Um, in the past, it's, it's been a bit of an education for us, as we learn that the, there's better times of day to, to spray it, to preserve the, the lives of these bees, uh, there are safer chemicals that we can use. A good time for spraying is after 8 p.m. You know, the bees are minimized on the flowers, they're not as flying as much and they're in their homes. And just making sure that uh, you do lots of checks, that you're spraying for the right pests and using the right pesticides. And, well, and I think um, the, uh, the majority of the seed growers that are growing hybrid seed production understand the importance of uh, the pollinators to uh, getting a good seed crop. So more and more of them are really understanding the importance of uh, applying their, their, even their fungicides and, and insecticides, you know, in the right times of day, especially like roughly after eight o'clock at night and stuff. When possible, uh we tend to uh, spray prior to flowering. I mean, there's always some chemical applications that need to be done when, when in flower, but if you can get applications done prior to flowering, then obviously uh, that's better because the bees won't be foraging on those, that field at that time. So. As you protect your canola crop, remember these tips, particularly when hives are nearby. Get to know the beekeepers in your area so you can discuss your crop management program with them and give them time to prepare. Scout fields regularly and monitor the insects in your crop. When insect pests are present, use established economic thresholds to aid your spray decision. Remember, the economic threshold only covers the cost of the application. Spraying below these numbers is a waste of money and is damaging to bees and other beneficial insects. Once these thresholds have been exceeded, choose the most bee-friendly option to get the job done. Check wind speed and direction before any application and use drift reducing nozzles to limit unintended application to non-crop areas. If you're using custom applicators, make sure they know where the hives are located. And try to spray when bees are not actively foraging after 8 p.m. or in the morning before temperatures reach 15 degrees Celsius. You know, it's kind of a win-win situation for both of us out here. If we I think we're both very respectful of what the other one does for a living and uh, through working together and having a good communication process out there, um, it, it's been good for, for everybody involved for over 30 years here. For more information about bees and canola, visit the websites of the Canola Council of Canada and the Canadian Honey Council.